my friends and welcome. I am so happy to have you here. My life has been quite hectic lately, so it has been a while. But here I am with an art journal page for all and create. So let's start with a crazy cut outdoor in black. I have this large stencil called Superbly Square, number 109, and I use a pencil to trace the pattern. You all have seen me use a blade before, so I didn't film the cutting, but you will see the result later in the video. I start off with a stamp set called Alice and Queen number 500 by Janet Klein, and I stamp Alice in VersaFine Onyx Black ink twice. Next I have a stamp set called Flamazing number 617 by Janet Klein. In fact all stamp sets today are by Janet Klein and I stamp all the flamingos as well as the little hedgehog. Moving on with this Wonderland vibe I have a set called Cheshire Cat and Frog Footman number 613 and I stamp the cat twice but I'm starting to think I need more characters so I go back and stamp the queen, the frog footman and bring out a set called White Rabbit number 506 and I stamp the rabbit along with his signs, mushrooms and bottles. As you can see, I plan to color these characters with distress inks, starting with Alice. Now, I don't know the story well, but I think I know the colors. And for her dress, I used two blue inks, Mermaid Lagoon and Ship Sapphire, using the darker to make shadows and filling in with that lighter blue. And I do the same for her headband with a bow. For her hair I'm using the yellow ink mustard seed, adding water where I want a lighter yellow. As a habit I use my Prima Complexion watercolor palette to give the human characters a skin tone. For her flower eye I'm using two pink inks, picked raspberry and kitsch flamingo and I use those two inks for the flamingos as well. For the Cheshire cat I'm using the same pink inks, painting every other stripe dark pink and the rest with light pink, blending out with water to get those highlights in the middle of each stripe. The queen has fiery red hair, so I use an orange as my lightest called Spiced Marmalade and then all my red inks, Festive Berries, Barn Door, Fired Brick and Aged Mahogany, trying to get dark red shadows and gradually all the way to the orange highlights and I use the same inks for her dress as well. I use the same red inks for the flower eye and the jacket on the rabbit. I also use the yellow mustard seed for the rabbit's vest. The frog footman also gets a red jacket and for his face I start with yellow and move on to the green twisted citron and rustic wilderness. So let's make an inky background, I have a panel of watercolor cardstock, I also have an assortment of sprays, I have a distress mica stain in snow flurry and winter berry, spray stain in squeezed lemonade, dilution shimmer spray in lemon zest and fresh lime, and a neon pink spray from Boo Bunny. I start with yellow, pink, blue and green. And then my neon pink is clogged, so I end up pouring it over the panel. Then I try to make kind of puddles with the blue and the purple spray stain I added, before I add more neon pink again. Now let's spend some time on the cut out 
door. I have this dress paint in mustard seed and picked raspberry, as well as dilution shimmer paint in calypso teal. I add paint to an acrylic block and use a brush to flick splashes of paint all over my black door. So now I need a few more details to make my wonderland scene. So I use a set called Blooming Doodles number 508 and another set called Fly number 357. I stamp the flowers and the cloud the same way as before. To color these last few images I use distress inks in the same colors as before, but I add the purple wilted violet because I already have that in the background, and I use it together with picked raspberries to color the clouds. For the flowers I use the same blue, pink, yellow and green combos as before to keep everything tied together. So, let's work on this background and my first move is to do what I always do. I use archival black soot ink to darken the edges and frame my background. Next I bring out a stencil called Cobweb number 144 along with texture paste and black sparkle embossing powder. I push the paste through the stencil and as soon as I remove the stencil I pour that black sparkle embossing powder over the paste and melt the powder with my heat tool. And I do the same in all four corners creating black sparkling cobwebs. Now let's start putting this page together starting with the cut out door. I start gluing clouds onto the door, some of them flat and a few with foam tape. And then I glue down some flowers before I glue down the queen, the frog footman and the bunny with foam tape. I put foam tape behind a mushroom, the signs saying right and wrong way and the bottle saying drink me and I glue them down before I add man one more flower. I put double sided tape on the door and attach it to my rainbow page and then I start gluing down clouds and flowers on that panel as well. I put foam tape behind the Cheshire Cat and the Flamingos and glue them down. I cut out the cat's eyes from another image and glue them onto the cat with foam squares. And then I do the same with Alice's flower eye and glue her down with foam tape as well. I make sure Alice is peeking out through the door and then I glue down more flamingos, mushrooms, flowers, clouds and the teeny tiny hedgehogs. For a sentiment I'm using two of the stamp set, one with the rabbit saying I'm late, I'm late and the one saying the sheep difficulty Alice found at first was managing her flamingo and I heat embossed the sentiment. Right now my images are floating in the air so I bring out my Stabilo Oil pencil and scribble down some black to make shadows and activate the black pencil with water, by far the quickest way to ground my characters. The last thing I do on this page is to put foam tape behind the sentiments and glue one down on the door and one on the page. And now this all and create mixed media wonderland page 
is finished. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Until the next time, happy crafting.